Uh, just telling you, in the last few minutes, Marks and Spencer has released trading figures for the Christmas period. They've revealed 7.1% fall in the 13 weeks to uh, December 27th. They've also just confirmed that they will cut more than 1,200 jobs. So 7.1% down in sales, 1,200 jobs to go. Laura Bonduck went to find out whether we're all falling out of love with M&S. As we dream by the fire to face on a fray. This is how Marks and Spencer wanted us to spend Christmas, full of frills and high living luxury. The trouble is the rest of us weren't feeling so flush and even early December sales did little to lure us in. Well, I do like Marks and Spencer's things, but um, they are a little bit too expensive, I think. I think they just need to work on what the, who their core market is, and they need to be in competitive in pricing. There are so many other um, high street outlets that are doing very um, deep discounting. I'm, well, I'm surprised they're not doing so well. I was very surprised that they were doing great. Honestly, I really am surprised, but it's not a very good thing, is it? Today's fall in sales is no surprise. This time last year, M&S shares were worth nearly £5. They're now just £2.38. And in November, the company said its half-yearly profits had slumped by 44%. M&S has always been a bellwether in terms of the retail uh, market out there, into the retailers. And I think they're more equipped, they're better equipped than most retailers are. Although that said, many retail analysts are predicting that come February, uh, up to one in 10 of the retail outlets will be empty. It's going to be a tough, tough winter. The slump in sales is bad news for staff. Around a thousand are to lose their jobs. Unions say many have already been told they're likely to be laid off. There is a lot of concern and upset amongst the M&S staff and I think they'll be further angered by the fact that they know that redundancy terms were cut for the M&S staff by the, the senior management last year. Bringing back the shoppers is now the priority for M&S and many say this high street giant will need to make big changes if it's to recover and resist the looming recession. Laura Bundock, Sky News.